All right, everyone, so let's get started. Now, today's makeup look is going to be amazing. I drew a face chart and I just love the eye makeup look and I just hope that it's going to look good on my eyes <laughs> because it's very different whenever you draw it and then when you apply it on the face. So yeah, I'm really curious to see where the makeup is going to take us today. So let's just jump into the makeup. So first thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to moisturize my skin. And to moisturize, I'm going to be using the Fenty Hydra Visor. I ran out of this a couple of months ago and I did not purchase it right after uh, because this was very expensive, but I really, really like it. So I did purchase it again. So I'm just going to take one pump. You really do not need a lot of this. A little goes a very long way. And I'm just going to massage this all over my face. So my face is clean. I just woke up and washed my face. All right, so here we go. Next, I'm going to be priming my lids. And of course, to be priming my lids today, I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. We are going to do something very intense on the eyes. So this is foolproof. It's really going to allow the eyeshadow to really stick on the lids and be as rich as possible. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this with my finger. And I am going to tap this all over my lid from the inner corners to the outer corners. I really want to make sure that my whole lid area is primed evenly. And I'm even going to take some of that on my under eyes. And like usual, don't be scared to take this primer all the way out to the like temples because you never know where the makeup is going to go. <laughs> Alright, so now that my lips are... My lips? What the heck is a lib? <laughs> Alright, so now that my lids are prepped, what we're going to be doing, usually I always like to use like powder eyeshadows to create my eyeshadow looks, but today I really want to use this pencil to begin the makeup look. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Endless Cacao, and this pencil, I usually use it on my lips to do like a very full contoured kind of lip effect because it's a really neutral brown shade. But I really want to use this on my lids today, just so that we apply a cream and then when we're going to apply the powder on top, it's going to be a lot more rich and a lot more intense. So yeah, I think I'm going to be starting with this. So you can use any brown coal liners you have. What I'm first going to do with this, I'm going to sketch out where I want my lines to go. So I'm going to be kind of precise, but you can always clean it up after. So don't really worry if your lines are not perfect at first. So I think I'm going to start on my outer corner. I'm going to create kind of a winged liner going upwards and then going downwards towards my lower lash line. And I'm going to start right here in the center of my lid. And I'm going to create a line, not following my lower lash line, but a few millimeters down. All right, so here we go. So now we have the first line. It's kind of outlining my eye shape. Next, I'm going to start working on the line in my inner corners. I'm kind of going to do the same thing that I did on my outer corner, but in my inner corner. So I'm going to outline the shape of my eye, and then I'm going to bring it towards the front of the brow. And then I'm going to draw another line going even further on my outer corner but the line is going to start underneath the one we just drew. So I'm just going to go a few millimeters down right here. And I'm going to start and wing this line out. All right, so as you can see, these lines are looking very rough, but that's all right. We're going to do some cleaning up after. So next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do like the little swirly, swirly lines. <laughs> so both these lines are going to go back towards the front of the, the eye. So I'm just going to do a little curve and bring them towards the center of the eye. Ooh. That's looking weird, but I like it. <laughs> All right, so next I'm just going to take my time and build the color of these lines and also build the shape. All right, so I'm pretty happy with what I have right now. Um, next, I'm going to be taking a JH42 brush. This is a very compact blender brush, and I'm going to use this to really smoke out some of these edges. So I do want certain lines to be like smoky. So for example, this line right here, 
I'm going to be smoking outwards. So I'm just going to do some very small tapping motions and dragging this coal liner outwards. And then this liner here is going to do the same thing. So it's going to be blended outwards. So I'm keeping the line inward very clean. And then this line right here in the center, in the inner corner, I'm going to be smoking inwards. So I'm just going to be doing that until I have the blend that I want. All right, so here we go. It took me a little bit of time to get like the intensity and the blend that I want. So next I'm going to go into my Raw Beauty Christie and uh, Pure Cosmetics palette. And I'm going to go into the shade called Copper Boxes, which is, I'm not sure. No, I don't want to go into this one. Okay, Whew. trying to find a really neutral brown shade was very difficult, uh, but I think I found the perfect shade for what I want to do next. So I'm going to go into my, B this is nasty, oh my god. I'm going to go into my BH Cosmetics BFF Alondra and LC palette, and I'm going to go in a shade called Alo and Else which is this shade right here. It's like a really neutral brown shade. You can take any neutral brown shades you have. And I'm going to be taking that with a very precise detailed brush. This is a Morphe brush. And with that shade, I'm just going to intensify certain areas of the line. So for example, I'm going to place some of that shade at the very root of the lines. And as you can see, it's already giving more depth to the look especially that we used that cream to really like get the first layer of color. All right, so now I'm just going to take a Q-tip and just try to clean some of these lines. And with an even smaller detailed brush, this time I'm going to go into the Raw Beauty Christian Pure Cosmetics palette and I'm going to go into the shade You're Not My Real Dad. And this one is a really neutral deep brown shade. So I think it's going to be perfect for deepening out even more those lines. All right, here we go. So now because I'm getting a little bit of creasing on my lids, I'm just going to go into the shade called My Whole Heart from the same palette. And I'm just going to dust off the excess and just set right here the center of my lid, but very, very lightly, just so that it doesn't crease too much. So now we're going to do the cleaning up part of this makeup look, which is going to be the most satisfying. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking my Rare Beauty Concealer. This is in the shade 140C. I'm going to take some of that uh, on the back of my hand. And with a very precise flat brush, I'm going to pick up some of that concealer. And I'm just going to clean up certain areas of the lines. So for example, this inner corner is looking a little bit messy. All right, and just to be sure that it that the concealer won't crease, I'm going to take the same My Whole Heart shade with another precise brush. And I'm just going to tap over the areas where we applied the concealer. All right, and now for the fun part, we're going to do some colors. All right, so first what I want to do, on this part right here, I want to add some blue. So I'm going to go into my Now United palette and I'm going to take the shade Self Esteem with a very small flat brush. And with this, oh this, no, this brush is too big. I'm going to clean the very small brush that we applied the brown with and I'm going to use that instead to apply the colors. So with the blue, I'm going to place that right on the edge of the line. It's really hard to explain, <laughs> but I'm just dabbing this on the very edge of the line. <laughs> you, you, you're seeing what I'm doing, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> but I'm not putting this all over, I'm leaving some skin color. And then with the skin tone shadow, I'm just going to blend some of the blue out. All right, and next we're going to do some pink in the inner corners, so you can take any pink shade you have. I'm going to go into my Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette, and I think I'm going to go into the shade called Lowly Mama. 
And I'm going to do the same thing, but on the inner corner. And then again, with the skin tone brush, I'm just going to blend that pink a little bit out. All right, and then I'm going to do the same thing, but with the yellow shade on the outer corners right here. So I'm just going to place that right here. Here we go. <laughs> I kind of really like this makeup look. <laughs> And I also feel like going in with a brown shade. So I'm going to go into the shade called Perfectionist from the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. And I'm just going to smoke out some of these shades even more. So next I'm just going to put on some mascara. This is the Rare Beauty Mascara. And I'm going to be very generous with this. I'm not going to apply any mascara on my lower lashes just because I, I want to clearly see the blue shade so I don't want to hide it too much. Okay, so now I need to do the same on the other eye. Alright, so this took me a long time. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> I've been filming for way too long now. <laughs> So let's start working on the complexion. So for my complexion today, I want to do something very uh, glowy, very natural, very lightweight. So I'm first going to prime using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This primer is going to make your skin look very dewy, very hydrated. So that's what we want today. And I'm just going to massage this all over my face. All right, and for my foundation, I cannot be stopped. This is the best foundation ever. I'm not going to stop using it. <laughs> uh, this is the Rare Beauty foundation in the shade 140C. And I'm just going to place some of that all over my face. You really do not need a lot of this. And I'm just going to buff everything in using my Rare Beauty foundation brush. I'm not sure how I feel about this primer with this foundation because it's kind of making it look heavy and cakey. Not sure how I feel about this. For my concealer, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to use the Too Faced uh, concealer, but because my complexion right now, because of that Hydro Grip Primer, is looking a little bit heavier than usual, I think I'm just going to use my Rare Beauty concealer. I'm sorry, I cannot be stopped. <laughs> Uh, this is also in the shade 140C, and this concealer is very, very lightweight, it's very natural, so I think it's going to be perfect, because right now it's like my face is looking cakey. I'm going to take the same foundation brush and buff everything in. Alright, so next for my bronzer, I'm going to be taking my ABH Contour Stick in the shade Fawn. I really forgot how I really liked this uh, product. It's a really neutral type of shade, so it's really going to give a really nice contour effect, uh, but it's also going to give a little bit of warmth. So I'm just going to put some of that on the butt of my sponge, and I'm just going to bounce that on the perimeter of my face. And I think I want to try to do something different with my contour today. I think I'm going to apply it a little bit more concentrated in the hollows of my cheek because I've been seeing people like contouring like this area right here to give a really sunken in effect. Usually I would put, put like bronzer right here to give warmth, but I think I want to try and like, oh god, <laughs> but I think I want to try and like give more shape to my face. So I'm just going to try that and bring this towards the corner of my mouth. For my blush, I really want to try this again. This blush is amazing, as I remember. Uh, it's a really creamy, a very... like, it's very forgiving. You cannot go overboard with this. It's kind of not extremely pigmented, but it's really nice. Uh, so I'm going to take that... Oh, it didn't say what this is. <laughs> this is the Merit uh, Cheek color in the shade terracotta this is like the the blush balm and i'm just going to take some of that with my sponge and i'm going to bounce that on the very high points of my cheeks right here just to really give a lifted effect do you see this this is gorgeous so pretty i don't know why i don't use this as often like do you see this it's so gorgeous and then for my highlight this highlight is 
these highlights are the best. <laughs> these are the Rare Beauty Liquid Illuminizer, and this is in the shade Enlighten. In in light in enlighten and i love all the shades i love all the formulas well the formula these are amazing they apply on creams they apply nicely on powder they just they're just so easy to use and they have such a nice shine so i'm just going to take some of that on the back of my hand and i'm going to dab some of this highlight on the very high points of my cheeks but with my fingers so i'm very lightly going to dab this on my cheeks beautiful next i'm going to fill in my brows and i'm going to be using this right here this is the rare beauty light brown shape and feel duo i've been using this very often it's really really nice and i'm just going to brush my brows up and you know fill them in <laughs> nothing interesting here looking good all right so i can't find my 24 hour brow setter from benefit so instead of my 24 hour brow setter i'm going to be using the yves rocher clear brow gel this is actually really nice it's not as long lasting as the 24 hour brow setter but it's still a really good brow setter and it does last a really long time it's not like like the 24 hour, hour brow setter is hard to beat because it's like super glue for your brows this is still very long lasting it's really nice and the price is quite affordable as well here we go and then we have the lips to do and we're done so for my lips i'm going to be using my uh the same liner that i used on my lids this is the makeup forever artist color pencil in the shade endless cacao and i'm just going to contour my lips with this And I think I want to use this today. This is the Colourpop Lippy Stick in the shade Brink, which is a really nice, like, pink coral shade. I'm just going to apply this in the center. Yeah, that's pretty. And then I think I want to add just a little bit of this gloss. Not too much because this is very orange, but I think I want to make this lip a little bit more coral to match, like, the blush on the cheeks. So this is the Fenty Cream Gloss in the shade Honey Waffles and I'm just going to dab a tiny little bit of this in the center of my lips. That was too much. And I'm just going to dab it out with my finger. I think I just want to set certain areas of my skin down so I'm going to take my Milk Translucent Powder and very lightly I'm going to set under my eyes right here just so that it doesn't crease too much and it doesn't have too much shine. I'm also going to set around my chin where I do have a lot of skin texture. And here we have it. So actually that's it. <laughs> so this is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. I feel like today's look is very bizarre, very futuristic. I am obsessed. I really, really love how this turned out. I love the pop of colors and the neutral shades um, and this lip and like the, the blush. The blush is just it is gorgeous <laughs> but anyway so that's pretty much it for today's video um today's secret emoji what are we going to do all right so for today's secret emoji just because i couldn't really find anything very similar to this makeup look let's just do something very random let's just put the squirrel in the comments down below <laughs> i don't know why it really, let's just do the squirrel <laughs> uh, but yeah so that's pretty much it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a like you can also subscribe to my channel i put up new videos every single mondays well not every single but i do upload mondays <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one